Right, hello. You're watching Stiff TV. Sammy here. I'm here with Phil from Santa Cruz Bikes, part hello. of the UK contingent of Santa yeah. Cruz. Um, we're here with something pretty cool in this undisclosed location because this is <laughs> super top secret. <laughs> um, and we are, we're both freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, I was about to add that. You can tell how cold it is in here. So, what have we got? Basically, here it is, the bike that you've all been waiting for. It's the bike that basically has come from a demand, say, when the Nomad was released, version 4. What's it called? Wait there. <laughs> Getting to that point, it'll be a nice surprise. So basically, this is our long travel 29er cool. bike that we've been waiting for. So... Yeah, since the Nomad, when everyone was like, right, it's great, but where's the 29 version? Yeah. Here it is, the Mega Tower. Awesome, Mega Tower. Is that a big Tower. enough build-up? Yeah, okay, um, we're there. I yeah, hope you're all stoked yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the name, you might, it might, the name might have already been kind of sneaked out a little bit. You might have seen it on some forums here or there, but yeah, this is it. It's finally here and released just in the right time of year, basically. Yeah, start of the season. Exactly. Stock should be here now as, as you're watching yep. this. Yep, stock, uh, yeah, they pulled the blinder basically and stock will be in store as of the date of release. Awesome. So let's talk about a bit more about features and stuff. What is it? Obviously, 29 inch wheel, how much travel's it got? 160 mil. 160. So that's front and rear. Okay. Is there a reason why it went the same front and rear rather than maybe putting like a 170 or a 180 mil fork Yeah, the there is. We kind of like to think now with the longer travel bikes, it's better to kind of keep it nice and balanced. Okay. So you will see a pattern on the longer travel like this where we're, it is 160, 160. Uh-huh. Whereas the lower travel bikes at the rear, we may up fork them. Like the Bronson okay. as an example, 150, yeah. 160. That is just because of the progressiveness of the rear end. Yeah. It allows it to... It was such a supportive rear end, so it yeah. allowed us to add 10 mil at the front just to kick it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I guess that's so that's kind of similar to how the Nomad is with a 170 yeah. front 170 and rear. 170 front yeah. and rear, yeah. So if the extra 29 wheels now, you can kind of keep it at 160. And yeah. The beauty of this bike is adjustability. Okay. So although it comes 160, 160, if the end consumer wishes to, there is the opportunity to up it to one. 70 by then flipping the chip just near the back of the rear shock right okay so this is a, a very much we wanted to give as much adjustability to the end consumer as possible okay um so yeah by doing that it'll lift your t obviously with 10 mil extra on the front it'll lift the bike up 10 mil which also means that it'll kick out the front end so you actually gain an extra degree on the head angle right okay so with that that's quite a lot of adjustment yeah yeah, it's good. It's, it is really good. It gives you that option, but we also, you, it's down to just about your Nomad was at that end of the scale, but then the V10, which you can see a lot of similarities in here. Mm -hmm. There is some technologies that have been taken across from the recently launched V10. Okay. So just back to that flip chip, just to clarify. So when you, the chips on the link, yeah. as it is with various other bikes from Santa Cruz. Yeah. Um, and when you flip it, you're not getting a travel change. It's no. a geometry change. Geometry change only. Travel stays the same. Right, okay, cool. And that's affecting it's head angle. It affects quite effect a lot. There's a bit on the reach as well, so it'll take okay. three mil on the reach. Okay. Three mil on the B three point five mil, sorry, on the BB height. Okay. As well as obviously the degree difference on the yeah. point seven when you don't change the fork. Yeah. If you put a fork in, it gives you a full degree. Right, okay. So if you go from a 160mm fork to a 170mm fork and you flip the chip, then you're getting a full degree. Yeah, so it'll be a 64 degree head angle. Right, okay. Then. So As it stands, 65. Off the peg, 65. Yeah. Right, okay. And the flip chip, is it similar to the Nomad? I mean, I, I'm a Nomad rider myself and I <laughs> tend to ride, I've got a coil shock in mine, 170mm fork. So kind of balanced front and rear, like we were saying. And I tend to ride it in the UK pretty much everywhere. I actually run it in the high setting and that's because the high, it's more kind of like low and then extra low rather than kind of high and low. 
Um, and I, I find that that high setting works really, really well in the vast majority of situations. It's just kind of, you know, if you're out in the Alps, um, if you're doing an uplift day, then something like that, then um, then I will put it in the low setting. But I do, for, it's, it's quite a noticeable change, isn't mm, it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like, it's not something that I would maybe want to, you know, Bike Park Wales, say you're doing two days there or something, flip it into that low chip. And yeah. then it's kind of like, yeah. it takes you almost a couple of runs to kind of get used to it because it is quite a, it's quite a noticeable adjustment. Oh, it is. It's um, not, it, it, there is, it, the characteristics can change. Okay. Although you're only talking like three mil, you will feel that yeah. difference. Yeah. And that's, so that kind of, are we looking kind of similar kind of adjustment with this in that like, would you, tend to run it in the high setting most of the time and then switch to low for uh, would say or it really, more a rider preference? It thing, is or? rider preference. Okay. And that's kind of, everyone is their own person and their own rider. So in the low setting, it's kind of super, it's the steep, gnarly sort of stuff. You can kind of okay. put it onto that. Yeah. And the high, obviously, that's, it, it is all down to rider preference. It will just lift it up ever so slightly. Okay. So... Cool. But it comes with, you won't have any issues with clearance with this bike as it's like the Nomad, comes with 170 mil cranks on all sizes. Right, okay, cool. Uh, 30 tooth chain ring, but you can fit up to a 36, there's clearance there if you right, want Right, okay. If you've got the legs for it, by all means go for it. Cool. What about shock options? I mentioned like I'm running a coil on the Nomad, is there a coil option there is. on this? There is. Cool, okay. So there is the, the option now, right through the range, where you can actually have it as a coil or an air shock. And this will be done during your pur purchasing right, sort okay. of choice. Awesome. And that comes, what kind of spec levels do you, do you get the coil on? Is that kind of like, is that like a high-end bike or? No, it goes right through. Right, okay. Right through, unlike the other ones, uh, I believe it's from the S range upwards. Okay. Uh, you can, That's new because we've only yeah. ever seen air shocks on S kit, mm -hmm. on CS kit bikes. So from before. S upwards now, you can have coil. It's down to there's like 13 bikes within 13 op buying options, should we say. Wow. That's a lot of different brackets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But cool. There's the colour option to throw in there as well. Mm. Mm. We'll come back to that. The flip chip, I've heard that it tweaks the suspension a little bit as well. Is, does it change the shock rate or something? Uh, it, Do a something. bit more, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> 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 Could you see in my eyes? Should, I was we, leave, like, should we leave that to the <laughs> suspension like, tinkerers? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, as, as a fundamental though, an yeah. air shock, the bike's going to be lighter, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. You know, a, a steel spring does weigh quite a bit more than an air shock. Um, there's kind of no way yeah. kind of around that really. Um, you, you will, I'm assuming that similar to kind of a bike Santa Cruz range, you will get kind of like a more poppier kind of feel, a bit more lively yeah, with on an air the, shock. Yeah, on the air obviously yeah, you'll get a bit more where the, the coil will kind of just dumb it down a little bit yeah. there, say, and it'll just yeah. allow you to really push as hard as you yeah. want. I mean, I rode the Nomad a lot with an air shock and then moved to coil after kind of like a few months on it really mm. and i found that it was almost like i've never i don't know the stats but it felt like i was getting kind of 10 percent three speed kind yeah. of like for nothing you know just from switching the kind of shock out but it probably it, it probably made kind of you know like pulling up for like hopping something or something mm. that little, a little bit, bit more difficult but i think it was i think it's more forget you get more grip you can go faster i mean it, you get more forgiveness with a coil yeah yeah, I so it just open it opens that door a little bit more, maybe. So, so more, yeah, more, tr yeah. You can plow it a bit better, better traction. Yeah. Probably kind of a bit less fatigue if you're doing enduro racing, stage racing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you've got to kind of bear in mind that the bike's going to weigh more. So, it's all about kind of rider options. I guess. That's the beauty of it. That's the one thing about this bike. It, it is the versatility that the end consumer can change what he wants. I need to say, stop saying end consumer. <laughs> that's that's proper, you. That's <laughs> rider. We'll change it to rider. So yeah, the rider can do what he wants to it. Yeah. Cool. So. So. It's pretty gravity. 
pretty gravity focused or yeah. well, it, it's at 160 a, mil yeah it, it's you, not you an xc kinda, bike is it no it's definitely not an xc <laughs> bike although if you wanted to you could yeah yeah there's no harm in a big day out but it is very much focused on well let's put it this way that the guy you will see it first in the public eye during the ews in new zealand at round one right okay so that kind of falls into why we're releasing it when we are so who's gonna be riding it there like mark mark scott yeah Iago. Iago, the pair of um, them will be riding them. Is Luce uh, going to be there? Or I don't know if Luce is going out there. Actually. Right, okay. Uh, but you will see all of them, like Sam Dale, he's going to be riding one. All right, well. cool, yeah. Well, I hope he is because I've just said that. <laughs> we, we might have to give him one now. <laughs> but he, if you think about Thank it. Thank me later, Sam. Yeah. If you think about it, he's the perfect candidate for some big, yeah. strong, yeah. Okay, absolute beast on a bike. Yeah. So. Yeah, you will. It is not only is it vers the versatility for your personal trail and taking advantage of the 29er, but also the race side of it is going to be incredibly effective. Yeah. And again, for them guys to have that adjustability, yeah, another added sort of and it's tuning here and it's there. It's been for kind of developed area. for those guys. Yeah, as yeah. Well, so I they've, guess. they've I mean, been part of it all, really. I remember seeing, God, when we sponsored Loose few years ago now i guess but mm. back then being out in paler and him and mark were riding Showing off that now, high tower yeah just the skids now <laughs> 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 but um you know him and mark were riding a regular high tower but with a different link in it which i think took it's like yeah. 146 46, mil yeah. of travel or something yeah. see that was one of the numbers i remembered <laughs> <laughs> yeah they took it with that linkage to 146 and then that's kind of where the lt High to LT was kind of created. That's kind of took over. Took over that sort of demand, so that up yeah. that to a 150 mil travel, but that was a whole different linkage and rear triangle. Yeah. So then from that demand, this has very much come from there and the success of the Nomad. And then yeah, I mean, the quite Nomad's a been, lot of, you can see quite a lot of There's quite a lot bikes of different bikes within yeah. this. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, on the Nomad, I probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be my first kind of, Protocol to kind of go on like a 40k epic XC ride on it, but the suspension platform works so well that you could. Yeah. It's just you're gonna have more fun doing that on a blur or a tall boy, something like that, a 5010 that's like a bit poppier. So I kind of guessing this is like the same kind of deal, like it goes uphill really, really well. Yeah, it's just like if you're not kind of like pushing the bike, it's not gonna be as fun. So you can happily go and rip it around a trail center all weekend. The versatility is yeah, the key to this. Exactly. Well, that's thing and as we mentioned about the race kind of it side of it it has to basically get you up to the top as well yeah in a really good fashion and look at the damn thing <laughs> <laughs> look at it you can ride whatever you want it? it? it's an absolute tank but it's not heavy no what does that weigh just over 30 that's the official Official weights on out. That was just us weighing it in the workshop today. They will be out by now by the time yeah. this is out, but they weren't out when we made this. Yeah. So. And this is like an early. Is this yeah, a, this, this. I mean, this, bike, part, this isn't brand new, is it? This has been no. used. Yes, it has. Where's it been? This bike, let's fit, it's the only one in the UK as well. Oh, yeah. So hopefully no one's seen it. Okay. <laughs> you might lose my job <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has. Um, so this bike was out in Madrid with myself. I was thinking you were looking a bit brown. It was 18 degrees. Whew. But we've just had 18 degrees. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, so yeah, luckily enough, spent a week out in Madrid with some selected media. So we went out. Um, okay. Me and a couple of other guys from the kind of Santa Cruz family. Went out there and we spent a week in Yago's training grounds, basically. Nice. Which was phenomenal. Madrid is quite a fun city. Yeah. To say the least. He was a hell of a host and he really, really took care of us, should I say. Nice. Yeah, and then from there... Did the drink then. <laughs> from there... <laughs> uh, don't my tongue. Uh, from there... Uh, the guys, unfortunately, I uh, couldn't go, but the rest of the guys then went off to South Africa with these bikes and then did another media trip with, again, with another selected few 
guys, media guys from around the world. And yeah, they had a very nice time in South Africa. Awesome. And now it's here. And now it's here. Via Mosin. So it's been a Mosin and back to us. Bloody hell. And now it's ours. I know where this year. Been in Madrid and Macclesfield. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Berg Tech. <laughs> it was just as much fun. So, talking about going up, mm -hmm. seat tube angle. Yep. Where is that at? 76 degrees. Woo. So that's, yeah, it's, it's pretty steep. That's quite a move, isn't it? Yeah, big move for Santa Cruz. It's kind of, it has been mentioned in the past that there might have been a little bit slack, but this one definitely is not. It's kind of taken us right that's up there. That's positively steep, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 And I guess that kind of goes with the terrain, doesn't it? You know, it, it's designed to be ridden on mm -hmm. steep stuff. Yeah. You're going to have to ride back up steep stuff to get exactly. to the top. So exactly. That makes a lot of makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, what about the sizing, like the reach? Does it grow? Is it kind of similar to like a Nomad or a Bronson, so or where the, does it kind of sit in the? Well, this bike you can actually get it from small, medium, large, XL, and there is a double XL version uh, okay. as well. So for your big buggers like Big Benny Cathro, oh yeah, he will have one of these bikes. Um, so yeah, so the X double XL for reach of five fifteen. Wow, that's massive. It's my size. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to help you on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a jockey, wouldn't I? It'd be amazing. Um, <laughs> we could store you inside the front know, triangle yeah. and deploy you to yes. change tires at races. That would work. That it? would, wouldn't yeah. it? Better than like strapping a tube on. I'm wasted. Just get you to run out the side and <laughs> put some on. Had to get a height joke in there at some point. <laughs> um, so what yeah. else has changed then? Um, that looks a bit different. Chainstay protector. Yeah. I mean, protection system's pretty neat as usual from kind of Santa Cruz now. Mm -hmm. It's all... It's all bolted on, isn't it? Yeah, it's not so stuck the, on. So on the main frame, there'll be the, the two bungs again. Bottom BB protection. Yeah. Any rock strikes, and then again, just on the down tube. It's got like the like shuttle guard. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and yeah. that's come from. Was that V10 and the Nomad have that, don't they? Yes. For chucking yeah. on the back of a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, that, and then you'll notice we've mentioned the V10 a couple of times, but you'll notice on the chain stay that protector has kind of come across from the V10 and developed with the syndicate guys. Right, okay. And what's the purpose of that? Is that like quieting? Protection and it also dumbs down any chain slap. Right, okay. Because you're going to be hauling on this thing. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's, it's just pushed on there, popped on just like the V10. So it can be removed and changed if need be, but... Oh yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's not like a stick-on thing. It's, no, it's no, actually moulded, isn't it? And it on, like snaps yeah. Into, yeah. into place. So it ain't going anywhere. Sweet. But as we're talking about the rear end... Yeah. All the way over there. What's that bolt doing at the back? Yeah, no, yeah. So that, <laughs> again, we've talked about versatility, adjustability, all the abilities. Uh, so it, it allows you to change the back end to long or short with a 10 mil change. Just, again, just like okay. the V10. What is it as standard? Uh, so standard is three, four, five. Okay. Isn't it? I don't know. That sounds quite long to me. No, it doesn't. Three, four, five. No, that's, that's not right. That's tiny. That's tiny. That's really <laughs> small. No. Is it 26 in? What I did was I got the right numbers, but in I the put wrong them order. in the wrong order. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, four, three, five as standard in short. And okay. then in long is a 10 mil on a 435. 245. <laughs> <laughs> 445. Right, uh, okay. In the long. Okay. What did you ride it in when uh, most people have been going with the most, shorter one? Like? Most people kind of start off in short. We, after working with all the media, we saw a kind of fashion for all the. I'm not going to say short guys, say average height guys, below six okay. foot, keeping it in short. Anyone yeah. above that would try it out in long. Right, okay. And then that is just, a, look at Greg Menard's bikes, it's getting longer yeah. and longer and longer yeah. and longer. There's this sort of fashion trend. And it's justified for the big guys. I don't have that issue. But 
the longer the better, really, just for stability oh, in the yeah. corner. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, I mean, that's, uh, that's kind of new for kind of trail enduro yeah. bike from Santa Cruz, isn't it? That's yeah. come directly from the, from the V10. Yeah. Is, the, is it the same kind of system then as a V10 where do you have to adjust the brake mount yeah. and the dropout? Yeah, it? so it's dropout yeah. and brake and then and that they'll, comes they'll with come the, with that comes the with bike. The bike yeah, so it's yeah. not an extra or anything. Yeah. Sweet. So again, it's, it's just allowing you to kind of custom sort of spec the geometry to your personal needs. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a lot to kind of go out there, isn't there, mm -hmm. tweaking-wise. Mm -hmm. And staying on the swing arm, is it dual uprights? Because the, the Nomad's single uprights, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so And it then is. the new Bronson is dual uprights, isn't dual, it? Dual, yeah. That kind of came, was it a blur that kind of came from one first, I think? Yeah, because it was. Went really squeaky then, trying to say too many words at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so dual. So... Stiffness, strength, yeah. Strength, that's all it is. It's down to strength. There's no flexibility. No unwanted flexibility there. Yeah. Say, so. But uh, yeah, it needs to take some, take some hammer, so. God, yeah. Cool. Just look at it. I keep finding myself just staring <laughs> at it. It just looks fast standing still. Um, but. Wheels. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's 29. It's got the reserves on there. Yep. What, what reserve? 30 mil. 30 mil. Mm -hmm. And is there, is it plus? Is there an option to do that? No, is, it's no? just 29. Right, okay. So we're kind of looking... 25, 24. Kind of 24, 25 kind of area yeah, yeah. on a 30 mil internal rim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. But again, if you... that This is what it will come as standard, but if you want to change it, obviously, if you want double downs and all that sort of shit, on yeah. it, you can, you can yeah. do that off afterwards. But yeah, be, I mean, it's got, it's but actually, they're, they're, it's got well, let's XO plus on it, I know, it? that's Which the is... thing. Talked them down a little bit there, didn't I? That's yeah, so, you did, yeah. It's so, a good tie, that. I know it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a light rider. I mean, in the I'm reserve down. thing, we're seeing on that S spec, you can get a reserve option now, can't mm -hmm. you? Reserves, Santa Cruz is in-house. Yes. Wheel brand, focus on ride quality. Lifetime guarantee. Yep. They've been pretty awesome so far, haven't they? Yeah, done all right. So, no uh, bad reviews of anything that I've seen. I think that so far. S kit reserve bike with a coil is quite a potent bike, really. Yeah. So, it'll, do all, it'll do the job. <clears throat> and then <laughs> at the crazy top end yeah. spec, mm -hmm. if you want the latest, I've heard that there's a there's a new group set. There is. Access. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> need smoke and mirrors whenever you talk about that. So yeah, the, that will be specced on one of these bikes. It's one of the first bikes on the market to be specced with it. Right, okay. That's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so, I've but kind it's of not, seen it's the... not just parts, it's the full lot. So it is the... Uh, you get the reverb as well. Reverb as well, yeah. Oh, right, awesome. So everything, so it is going to be a two-cable bike. That'll look amazing. <laughs> we're both counting that. Make I was go. kind of like adding up, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, be, no, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, two. Wow. Just two colours, as usual? Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not about the other colour. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You've just said it now on video. Ah, uh, they'll, they'll see it at some point, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> do, do your own research on that one. <laughs> okay, so there is another colour. There is another colour, but... Yeah, well, I top, that's top secret. That, do we have secret, to go to a yeah. different secret location? We've got to, to go to yet that. another cold warehouse to <laughs> right, talk <okay>. about. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be dark. <laughs> right, so we've checked our tick list and we've missed off a couple of things. Hang on, I'm checking again. Yeah. Oh, you're double, che we're right. double checking, yeah. So, BB height, that's something everyone's going to want to know. How, yeah. Well, how much BB drop is it? Drop, that, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, high is 29 mil. Okay. And then in the low version, it's 33 mil. Right, okay. That's quite significant. Yeah. That's, a, that's a nice bit of adjustability. And it's actually, as kind of as I was saying earlier, with a Nomad kind of thing as well, mm -hmm. like it's actually quite low when it's in its high position. That's what I mean. That, that thing so, is going to be planted. Yeah, it's going to feel amazing. Mm -hmm. It's going to rail corners. 
It is. That was about it. <laughs> I'm not laughing at it. Um, most you important wanted... question. Yeah. Does it take a bottle cage? Yes, it does. Full size. Sure does. Inside the front triangle. <laughs> it does, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Right, I mean, we I can cater for now. all hydration needs. Good. Um, cool. Well, we've got demo bikes on order. Mm -hmm. Hopefully be here. By the time you watch this, they should be very, very near. If you've watched it a few weeks after it's come out, we should have demo bikes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Stiff will have full-size run right up to double XL with this. So if you want to try one, give us a shout and we'll get you booked in on one of those. I think it's, yeah, definitely like, it's a very interesting bike. I think it would suit a lot of people. Yeah. Definitely a good UK option. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, come and try one. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for coming, dude. That's no been, worries. or have I come here? Or I don't know, where, where are we? Shh. I don't know. All I know is it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> cool. If you like the vid, check down below, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, check the channel out, see what else there is to watch. Very nice. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.